Hi, Jeffler here. I'm working on the latest improvements to the SynthIO module, which in CircuitPython 8.1 will have a whole slew of new features. Um, and by the way, this stylish board is the Adafruit Prop Feather with an RP2040 and a dedicated I2C sound amplifier, among other goodies. Anyway, the next feature is called ring modulation. So first I'm gonna play a sample without ring modulation, and then I will bring the ring modulation in. And so initially it's a fine tone, but it doesn't have a lot of life to it. But with ring modulation, there's just a lot of depth added to the sound um, when with the interplay of two, those two waveforms. So look for these improvements in a pull request to CircuitPython coming soon. Early data, what is this? I'm testing out this new I2S amp BFF for Cutie Pie boards. This one has a Max 98357, which is an I2S 3 watt amplifier. I love it because it's just just a couple passives, this chip, connect three pins to the I2S peripheral, and you're ready to go. Uh, and this is our Cutie Pie board. You've got them in all sorts of varieties, SAMD21, and RP2040, and ESP32S3s. This is an ESP32. Um, and what's nice is, you know, it's got Wi-Fi, so when I connect this up, it's playing music, but it's not stored on the ESP. This is actually streaming an MP3 from Bandcamp. Um, this is the album that we have uh, here at Adafruit um, by Bartle Beats, and it's featuring Adabot and all of our electronic friends. So this is working really well, streaming MP3s through I2S and then to this nice speaker. Small streaming MP3 player. Yeah. Early data, what is this? This is me testing out a iSpy adapter I made for uh, Cutie Pie boards. So Cutie Pie boards are our uh, Seed Show compatible microcontroller boards, and they come in all sorts of different uh, configurations. We've got ESP32-S2s and uh, SAMD21s and RP2040s and all that good stuff. This one happens to be RP2040. And um, this is an iSpy adapter. So on the back, um, there's all these jumpers in case you want to change the configuration, but it has all the pins necessary to connect to pretty much all of our display boards. Um, so you can connect to the SD card, SPI, I squared C, IRQs, and all that good stuff. Um, and there's no soldering required. You're just telling me this tiny thing is this driving thing. this thing here. This thing, that's right. yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So coming soon to the Adafruit shop makes it so easy to connect displays. Early data was this. This is me testing out our new prop maker feather it's an rp2040 feather so it's actually running off a battery right now although you can run it off of usb program it that way too it's got eight megabytes of flash the rp2040 stemma qt and it's got a bunch of cool accessories like an i2s amp an accelerometer uh and pre-soldered terminal blocks to make it really easy to make props so for example um three of the pins here are for neopixel and this is five volts and it's even level shifted five volt output. And then here's a switch input, you know, and I can test that all the LEDs turn white. That's the, what my code's doing. And then I've got that I2S amplifier, so I can have this play audio clips. And these are stored on the RP2040 and uh, the eight megabytes of flash. And with the I2S amp, the audio sounds really good. Data, what is this? This is me testing out the prop maker feather, but this time, instead of testing it, uh, before I was testing it in Arduino, this time I'm testing it in CircuitPython. So I've got some LED animations going on here, and then I have the accelerometer changing the angle of the servo. So testing the servo and the onboard acceler accelerometer as well. Uh, this is the servo port over here. And then I'm also testing out I2S and the mixer capability. So what's really cool about CircuitPython is it has really good audio support. And so, for example, I can read this potentiometer and use that to adjust the volume through a digital mixer. So you get like really good quality. And of course, you can mute, fast forward, um, you know, play different tracks. So, you know, I can move it up and down and do digital um, volume control. So, so far, everything's working out really well. I've tested pretty much everything on this board and it's ready to get ordered and put into the Adafruit shop.
All right, Lady Ada, what is this? This is an A&O style rotary encoder. It's got this like clicky wheel and then five directional buttons, up, down, left, right, and center. It's kind of reminiscent of classic iPods, and it uses a lot of pins. It has like, you know, 11 pins for all of the uh, bits and pieces that are built into this um, navigation switch. So I designed this uh, STEMI QT based board that will basically do everything you need to control and read it over I squared C. And here's the tester. Um, so it's got the all the pogo pins going to all the pads required. And this is a Metro M0 running our UPDI uploader code. So I will uh, oops, place this like so and reset it. Um, and it connects over UPDI to program the onboard ATtiny816, and it finishes in just a few seconds. This is now ready to test the rest and get into the Adafruit shop. All right, I posted this photo. This is uh, you and our kiddo in front of your computer. You're designing stuff. Um, the joke that I'll probably keep doing for a little while is um, AutoCAD is now charging Lady Ada two seats because, you know, two people are designing hardware now. Um, here's kiddo and a little snack. And, you know, well, every dude is complaining on Twitter about stuff or like, you know, just being a jerk. We're shipping hardware, open source hardware. And this is for the circuit pirate. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty popular product. Um, we're going to release it into the public domain. And also breaking news, July 26, we're going to do a hack chat with Hackaday about the circuit pirate. Um, we posted up a little bit about what's going on with lady I'll talk about it in a second. I had some graphics that we didn't really get to use for um, a pirate radio thing that we were going to um, do. So um, I revisited these. I'm working with our designer, Bruce. Here's some ideas for the logo. I like the little, you know, pirate hat looking one. Um, I also like the little circle thing. Um, and then there's also uh, this. So we haven't decided on the logo yet, but Lady Ada, what is the Circuit Pirate? The Circuit Pirate is it's a, a revisit of a very old project where I wanted to try remaking the Bus Pirate, which is a very popular pin twiddling, bus twiddling tool, like it's kind of like a multi-tool Swiss Army knife for electronics um, that was designed by Ian Lesney of, um, I keep saying that wrong, sorry, Ian Lesney of um, Dangerous Prototypes. And uh, it's like over a decade old, this is, very, you know, designed, I think, in, in 2010. It was very popular, but unfortunately was recently, I think, discontinued until further notice because of probably component shortages, although I'm not 100% sure why. But we used to stock it, and now we um, are not, um, we're not able to get it anymore. And so I was like, oh, you know, this could be a good opportunity to revise the design and maybe kind of bring it up to date and redo it with an RP2040. Uh, so this is just a rendering. I like to do a, a 3D rendering, especially when there's big connectors of um, what it might look like to have a um, RP2040 based, but still like shape and pin compatible uh, bus pirate board. And and we, you know, maybe we'll call it circuit pirate. We have to chat though, because Scott had some ideas for some naming stuff. Really? Um, call something else? Well, something similar maybe. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, right. okay. but, um, but it'll probably, it'll still use the logo, don't worry. And uh, but I kind of only have like, like you only have one thing. I kind of only work. I do skull logos skull. and and skull shaped logos. <laughs> skull shape. Yeah. It's skull logos and skull logo uh, accessories are here. Um, mm -hmm. so it's got you know STEM QT and it's got the boot and reset button. It's got a mode switch so you can maybe like have it turn off the REPL because it's going to be running again Circuit Python. Uh, but the pinout is compatible. Um, and, you know, a lot of the work I, I did was just trying to make it fit in, you know, a, a non five volt uh, compliant board. Anyways, um, more coming soon. Uh, you can see a, a chat about it on um, Descalade. It'll probably be on a couple of Descalade. OK, that's our giant top secret section this week. Don't ask. It's not out yet. <laughs>